Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, October 19, 2024. 38 degrees at 8.22 a.m. and I am your host, Bob Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. What do you see, girly girl? I'm here with my little girly girl, Grace. And my girly girl, Ruth. There goes, there goes Gracie. My brother, Prince and co-star Max, is over there. My brother, Prince and co-star Sullivan, is outside. Princess Elsie, I have no idea where she is, and I don't know where Chloe is. Come on, babies. Been up since 3.50 a.m. When the train whistle started blowing and woke me up. They blow that thing at every intersection, and you can hear them from a long way out. And right after that stopped, I started falling back to sleep. And these little angels came and started looking for some breakfast. They think I'm their mother, and they started suckling on my neck and hands and would not let me fall asleep. So we got up, and why is she suckling on her own arm? <laughs> Forearm, whatever you want to call it, leg, paw, I don't know. Another beautiful fall morning, cold out there. Almost as cold outside as it is in this home and in my heart. Beautiful colors happening. Frost on the pumpkin. Sullivan is outside. Grandfather sun is rising. Oh, there's that Sullivan. There's that Sullivan. I think he's been out twice now. Ah, uh, so anyway, where do we begin? First thing in the morning out here, enjoying the pre-dawn. Uh, got a text from an old friend who lives down in the Cleveland area. He works at a college down there. And he's a good man, better than I'll ever dream of being. He's got a bunch of grandkids and they call him Gunka. And he said they're, at, they're starting to hit the age where they want to be with their friends rather than with him, which is good. It's the natural progression of things. And anyway, he's looking forward to coming up here for the November 15th uh, firearm deer season. They own a hunting camp. It's the 75th year since it was established. So anyway, I texted him back and It was just good to hear from him. So, where do we begin? A recap from yesterday. Yesterday's thumbnail was Chloe, Chloe number one. The last photograph I ever took of her. And according to the information and the properties of the photo, it was taken at 6.41 p.m. on October 6, 2015. My Koki. She was Max and Mikey and Gavin's sister. My little sister and princess. And can't say enough good about her. Here comes that Sullivan. Come on, Bobby. B A B Y Bobby Sullivan. I don't know how well I got that in there, and I don't care. It doesn't matter. So I didn't do a damn thing yesterday. It was a it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. As much as a part of me wanted to go for a bike ride, I just I honestly think I'm just warm right out. Too many years of it. <laughs> and the body's just telling me, no, don't do it. So we hung out all day around here with the cats and read. Enjoyed some pretty good food. Been on my fajita kick again, or fajitas as I call them. 
and burger and gravy and rice and corn. Watched a movie called If, read to the cats from Stalky and Company. And that's partly why I watched that movie If. It's a 1968 movie about uh, a British boarding school and that's what Stalky and Company is about. It's different. I fell asleep watching the movie Hellboy. Uh, going to news from last night in sports. Our Wildcats lost another one. They are 0-8. I figured it out. They've given up 445 points this year and scored 18. One more game to go. can't remember who they're playing. St. John's is the next game. There's Ed Sullivan again. There's Ed Sullivan. Yeah. So, of late I've been having a cold, thin, watery gruel for breakfast, and today I just don't feel like having any. I might make an omelet. I don't know. Do some stretching and yoga. I did do a few push-ups yesterday. Also, and what else did we do, Sullivan? We played with the cats, throwing them balls and the little mice and whatever else they got out there. They've got more than enough toys. And something I've been wanting to mention is my socks are disappearing. I might have done that, I don't remember, but when I go sit down to put my boots on or shoes or whatever before I'm getting ready to leave, I'll usually bring down my coat and my socks and grab my boots and then sit down out there on that little step Ugh. where my boots are over there. I sit there and put my boots on. And every time I sit down to do that, I look and my so socks are gone. And last night, one of these gals, I think it was Chloe, or was it Ruth? I don't remember who it was, came running in from somewhere with one of my socks. And I don't know where they take them and hide them, but they've got them stashed somewhere. <laughs> girly girls. Little girly girls. They're beautiful souls. So the 19th of October already. Um, I really don't have any plans for today. Not feeling too bad. Still got some congestion in the lungs. And with that, we're going to take a little break. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Sully just came back in. Still here with that. Macy. And Ruthie, I don't know where Chloe is. Maxie's still over, uh, right over there. And there's that Sullivan. There's that Sullivan. Oh boy, you know, I've been thinking a lot of late how Sullivan has the same color, or I should say, these girly girls have the same colors and markings as Sullivan does. And being that Sullivan was a stray cat. It's entirely possible that they were related somehow. Uh, given their range and etc. I'm not saying he was their father or whatever. He's been with us for three years now and he's been neutered. But anyway, there's a distinct possibility that he is related to these sweethearts. Just from, you know, their mother... Lives a few blocks away from here. Anyway, uh, speaking of cats, the other day I misquoted uh, a friend, Paula. Her quote was, actually, any cat that needs a home is a good cat. I actually said any cat that needs a home is a good home. So I failed, you know. I've only been right twice in my life. But anyway, I wanted to get that cleared up. That tree is looking spectacular out there. As is that pride and joy over that way. 
Am I getting that in there? I don't know. That one's almost yellow. This one's turning a bit of an orange. Some of the leaves earlier were just turning red right away or a reddish orange, and now it's doing more like it usually does. The rest of it is actually turning a little yellow before it turns orange. Some city chickens out on the main wire. Leaves on the ground out there. Smell of a uh, fire in the air also. Someone must be burning or heating their home with a wood stove. What are you doing, Gracie? Hmm? Gracie. Ruthie. <laughs> Ruthie. Oh, they're beautiful souls. They are beautiful, beautiful souls. We are back for what is probably going to be our closing segment. Sully went outside again. The girly girls are still sitting here with me. Still don't know where Chloe or Elsie are. Maxie's still over. There, we're going to give him his glucosamine. As well as Elsie. I've been sitting here thinking about... I know I could go make some coffee right now and drink some and I'd get on a bike and go. But if it takes me to do that, that if it takes that to get me to do that, I probably shouldn't do it. Uh, there's a reason I'm not biking and it's because my body's telling me don't do it, take a break. And I know I'm missing out on some beautiful color out the rail trail. Possibility is to go drive out and walk to that area that I love to go see down the trail. I can park on a side road and walk in a mile or two. But I don't know. I'm probably going to do some conjuring today. It's a good day probably for that. Might make some of my famous lentil soup. And I've been thinking about bacon. I don't eat a lot of bacon, and I really enjoy it when I do. And I was thinking of conjuring up some bacon and then frying up some uh, onions and jalapeno, scrambling an egg, and rolling all that into a tortilla. Or is it a tortilla? That might be my breakfast this morning after I do some stretching. I just don't know. Anything's possible these days. So, I think maybe one more break and then we're going to close. On the subject of food, two things I wanted to add. Uh, around here, the food groups are crunchy things, chewy things, sloshy things, mushy things, and cat hair. And pretty much everything you can make and eat is, fits into one of those categories. Uh, and I just saw a little item that asked what... Uh, anyway, the bottom line is that dr junk food, the main reason for its produ production by these companies that produce it, is the profit margin is 7,000% from what I read. 7,000%. You know, when you think about it, what a bag of potato chips costs, you know, it's like $6. There's probably maybe two potatoes in that bag. <laughs> and all the stuff that's made out of corn and high fructose corn syrup. All that wonderful MSG and everything else in there. I've been trying to avoid it again. I like a bag of chips occasionally. And but I when it comes down to it, I like having popcorn. I'll make popcorn and put a little sea salt on it and shred up some fresh parmesan. So that's where I'm at right now. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, convoluted, confused, grieving, happy, ungrateful soul, piss off, happy Saturday, and thanks for not tuning in.